all my beautiful all my beautiful sunshines thank you so much for being here you don't know how happy it makes me to have you here on this your channel now as you can see i have my nails ready with the first thin layer of clear acrylic and on this occasion again i will be doing halloween nails i will be using mermaid number two which later on you're going to see that this is not the correct acrylic that was under that lid and i'll be switching it about i didn't notice that it, well kind of noticed it at first but i didn't really pay attention to it also be using my black acrylic glitter acrylic from my collection and I will also be using the 3D black. Um, I want to take the time to ask you to please please become part of this beautiful family hitting the subscribe button if you're not part of this family yet and I want to ask you to please hit the activation bell so you get notified of any of the content I upload. So as you can see I'm putting a real thin layer of the black I'm not worried about making it too thick um, because I'm going to be adding some of my black glitter on top and kind of like um, sweep it down, not covering the whole nail, just kind of sweeping it down. Sorry, I stopped all of a sudden. I just heard a noise and I was like, what the heck? Anyways, um, here's where I noticed I had the wrong acrylic. I stopped the video, I looked for the right one, and then I placed it. I had accidentally put the neon purple on the number three, number two, and the number two on the neon purple. So I'm going to be applying this glitter on both middle nails as well. As you can see, I'm adding my black glitter. It's holographic, matte, and iridescent. It's a combination. And I really, 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 really love the way it looks. I'm also going to be adding nothing of the pink on the tip and kind of running it down on both nails. It's just a little bit. It's not a lot. It's just to kind of combine the nails together. After I'm done with that and I'm happy how the nails are, I proceed to encapsulate. I feel really proud of myself because I've been getting really, really good at the one bead encapsulation business um, without making them too thin. Uh, at first I was making them too thin with the one bead, but now I'm getting really, really better at it. I'm not great, but I'm getting better. So this is them filed and shaped and buffed. And then I proceed to adding some bonder on all the nails. And then, of course, I'll be adding um, finished gel on the pointer and pinky and then matte on the two middle fingers. You know when I'm going to do art on the fingers, I add a matte to it um, so that it kind of seals in the deal. And then I could do art on top of it without it running everywhere because the matte kind of holds things in place. Um, before I get to the 3D art, I just want to let you know this set is not what I wanted it to be. I'm not 100% happy with it. And mainly for the um, ring finger, my 3D art. I could have done better. I didn't. Um, but I have challenged myself to do the same set next year and do way better than I did this year. This was my first try doing this 3D art. Well, not fully, but what I was trying to do. Um, I never really based myself on a character and I tried this time and I failed but I'm challenging myself to do it next year and doing better so I'll be practicing this year on this character I am not gonna tell you who the character is I am not gonna write it down on the title or anything but if you think you know who I did who this character is based who this nail is based off what character it's based off go ahead and let me know down below in the comments can see I was talking and I just tell you I did some lines with gel on this nail um, I didn't know whether to leave it shiny or matte you guys let me know which one you like more I did it shiny and that's how it looks shiny or glossy and then I proceeded to adding matte so you guys could see it matte as well I left it matte but you guys could decide which one was your favorite and if you end up doing something like this you could choose whatever you like the matte or the glossy and that's how it looks matte and then I proceed to 
doing the 3d on the other hand i'm going to be doing the same thing i did with the owl i'm going to be doing the eyes i did mix um the aqua and the blue to get the blue i needed because one was too dark one was too light so i ended up mixing those and i proceed to do the eyes exactly like i did with the owl i have a real-time video on the owl if you guys want to go check it out just look right on my playlist it's called uh real-time videos so it should be right there and except the shape of the eyes is a little different which was I think uh, partially where I went wrong but I was trying to go with the image that I was looking at um, so yeah I'll let you guys see my little mess here and I'll be back See, as you can see, I'm doing the same thing as I did with the owl. I'm adding acrylic. I wait for it to dry. I add some gel top coat, and then I proceed to adding what is the face. Um, I add two beads of acrylic before I start shaping, and I do the same thing as I did with an owl, and I round it around the eyes, and I do it on both sides, and I add some to the bottom, and I do the same thing. I always find it easy to start from the top, then um, the bottom, and I do the same thing with the bottom. I try and shape around the eyes and whatnot and um it's pretty self-explanatory um once you get how to once you learn how to control the consistency of the bead and everything it's pretty easy it's just you know going with what the acrylic is telling you to do and yeah so i go ahead and do the face um i mm, i like to kind of how do i say connect the top to the bottom around between the eyes because I'm going to be covering that with the nose anyway. So that's what, that's why you see me always starting at the center. Like with the owl, um, you just add the beak and with the face, you just add the nose. And right here I focused too much on the eyes and I didn't shape the face as well as I could have. So that could have been part of some part of it, not all of it as well. See, I already added the nose and I'm making the little nostrils with my little needle thing. Um, once I'm done with that, I decided to add matte so it didn't stain the acrylic with the black that I'm going to be using. Unfortunately, I put too much matte and it kind of messed up around the nose and the eyes. That's part of where I messed up. I tried to clean it up, but I figured it out towards the end that I didn't clean it up good. So I wasn't able to do the lashes on the bottom and the top. Another thing is that my, my house was cold, so my eyelashes weren't coming out that good on one side. And they came out better on the other side kind of like the same thing that happened with my real eyes but yeah so um i go around the eyes just like i did with the owl and then again like i did with the owl i do the needle and i pull it up to kind of make the eyelashes once i'm done with that i add the hair and i try to shape the hair to where it is like on the image um I should have done the eyebrows first. I didn't do the eyebrows first, so I ended up just doing one eyebrow. That's something else I was not happy with. Um, all I gotta say is I, I need to work on it, and um, next year I challenged myself, like I said, to do a better job. I'm not saying it was horrible. Uh, it's all right, <laughs> but I could have done better. So I go ahead and add the hair on the top and on the contour of the face, and I give it texture as well. And then I'll proceed to adding the little smile and the neck and the sh body um, as well. And then I proceed to adding, uh, once I do the mouth, I proceed to adding matte 
on the face as well once I draw the smile and add a little more gloss to the eyes uh, you'll see when I try to scratch off where I see um, I'll show you guys I'll tell you guys where it is but yeah that's what I'm doing right now and that's what I'm gonna do here's the one eyebrow I could do and I actually do two coats of it I cure it and then I do another coat of it as you can see and then I proceed to drawing the little mouth um, so yeah I hope you guys like this video although it's not perfect I hope you guys enjoy and it gives you an idea I don't know if this is the last Halloween one or if I should go to the 31st you guys let me know since 31st is a Thursday and that's when I upload uh, let me know and um, yeah so here I do one little tooth after I cure the mouth and um, then I do the other one I end up erasing this one because I didn't like where I left it that's what I like about gel, that it doesn't dry until you cure it. Um, and since I mess up a lot, that's the best choice for me. <laughs> so I like the where this, where this tooth was, and I finish it up. I end up erasing the other one and doing it, and then adding the matte on the face, on the bottom part of the face, like I said. Adding more gloss to the eyes, and adding glossy top coat um, to the rest of the nail once I'm done, of course, with the neck and shoulders of this little person where I scratched the little eye where I messed up with the mat but um yeah I hope you guys like this video um go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed um the idea again thank you so much for being here you guys make me so happy I send you bunches of love hugs kisses and squeezes and god bless you all see you the next one bye